We are here today at Holy Family to launch our Listen and Learn storytelling series. In light of recent events, we felt the need to offer a place for people to tell their stories who might not normally have a chance to. Our first series features members of the St. Benedict the Moor Parish, talking about what it means to be a black Catholic in Omaha. Someday we hope to open the whole chapel up for you to bring in your lunch to listen and learn in person. But for now, please enjoy these storytellers with your lunch at home. Hello, my name is Garnet Schaffner, commonly known as Gus. Um, I too am a member of St. Benedict the Moor. I've been there now, I guess about oh, 25 years or more. I'm a retired Air Force. That was my first career. And then I retired or turned in my license as a marriage and family counselor. I live in Bellevue, but go to, go to St. Benedict for uh, my spiritual uh, love, I suppose. Since um, I have been in the Air Force and um, saw Christianity or Catholic Catholicism throughout the country and through and spent a lot of time in Europe and in um, Thailand. I had a, a very broad uh, education about the Catholic religion. The Catholic religion that I experienced after living in France for about five years uh, was quite different than the Catholic Church of America. In America, there is a separation among races. I think there is a disconnect with their religion as a result. I can't tell you what it feels like to walk into a Catholic church and at the kiss of peace, the people behind you will turn around to the people behind them and the people in front of you will not turn around to, to greet you. And yet, that's been my experience in America. When my kids were young, um, we went to um, a church in Bellevue at Christmas time to have a priest stand up and talk about the appearance of Jesus as being this little blonde, blue-eyed baby. And my son looked at me and said, that excludes us, doesn't it? And that was the last time I was at that church. It isn't the people that's so much the problem, it's the structure. We are structurally isolated. And it's not just because of the Omaha, but the federal government played a large part in making sure that we were separated, that the city was divided. And you had the Catholic Church, which was also very segregated. Myself and my adult, adult children were reading a book called um, uh, White Fragility. In order to understand how the white race can begin to, or how, how entrenched the system is, and how they've been taught, and how we've been taught, uh, a false history, a history that ignored slavery. So understanding the structure and how it has influenced the thoughts, the education, the systems that are in place has really been enlightening for me. And right now uh, we're using technology with my uh, three children to discuss white futility, trying to understand more fully uh, how you can be Catholic and racist. If we're going to be a true Catholic, we have to treat each other as brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm.